If you were to die tonight and God were to ask you, why should I let you into my heaven? What would you say? What that question gets to is it gets to the core of why, how people think they're saved. When you ask people that question, some will say, I already have a church. Some will say, I've been water baptized. Some will say, I live by the golden rule. I keep the commandments. I tithe. Why are those responses so scary? Because when people are answering the question as to why God should let them into heaven, they're reciting their works, aren't they? And Ephesians 2, 8, 9 just told us that it's not of works. And what was the last part of verse 9? Lest any man should what? Boast. Well, if you say, well, God, clearly you have to let me into heaven. I've been water baptized. I mean, does God say, wow, that's just fantastic. My son dying on the cross for your sins, that was okay, but it's just joyous to hear you've been water baptized. And the fact that you tithe, incredible. So you give me 10% after I created everything? Wow, incre- amazing. Do you, you, you realize how crazy it is for man to boast before God? And that's what people often do when they give you their explanation as to why God should let them into heaven. I'm not making fun of it. What I'm saying is this. What you see in those responses is a failure to understand grace. And the failure to understand grace is the concerning part because that is how you're saved. When you're trusting in something else, you're boasting and God's grace doesn't operate. 